affirm yourself, believe in yourself. Don't let nobody tell you what your dreams are, what you can, cannot do. That is literally up to you. You define your life, and that's how I live my life. I don't let anybody tell me what I can do. I, I'm the only one that has that authority. So I hope that you also know that you have that power. Good morning, guys. I am doing a very random get ready with me. Good morning. Happy Monday. So I'm going to keep this short five minutes. I think we can all wake up. So we can all wake up to some morning motivation, some positive energy. So I hope I can be that for you today as I get myself put together in the next five minutes. Um, actually, actually, I've been wanting to get back into my mindset talks and I think the best way for me to do that is to continue to do it on the fly and when I'm on the road, um, that's usually when like what I have to say is like flowing so naturally and you can really um, hear the thoughts that flow through my head and, and the way I react to like life, okay? So monday morning whether you got good sleep whether you had a good weekend not a good weekend dealing with problems life goes on right the sun comes up we rise if you woke up congratulations we have another day another opportunity to live like i think that on its own is just a celebration and i don't i'm not even trying to be cheesy but you know when life feels like hell just remember you are still alive and you're given opportunity to make it better and um, that's a very realistic way of like looking at life like not pretending like it's all peaches and roses but just seeing the value and being alive so today I want you to just wake up set intentions just bring the basic awareness to the fact that you are a living human being that repeats the same behaviors and thoughts every single day and that's due to something called your subconscious mind which is so amazing um, and in some ways your subconscious mind, you know, it keeps you safe, it um, memorizes patterns, behaviors, for example, if you've ever burnt your hand on a fire, it's going to remember, oop, stay away from fire. Um, if you've ever gotten your heart broken, it's going to give you triggers in uh, certain relationships that um, may give you the same feelings. And you know what, they call this intuition. It's more than just intuition, but you start to see patterns of things that uh, affected you or hurt you in the past your subconscious mind is super smart and it like memorizes everything however at times it can also limit you because it memorizes behaviors that you don't want to be memorized like for example stalking your ex stalking people comparing yourself or there's certain things that you do on a day-to-day -day that you don't realize is actually being one second all right sorry about that basically i was saying there are behaviors that you don't want to continuously live with you want to outgrow and in order to do that you have to understand and constantly bring the awareness that it's happening if you can bring the awareness that is step number one and you are actually progressing most people do not have this awareness most people are doing it and then they're they're wondering to themselves why am i like this or time will fade and of course time will heal many things but time will not nurture your behavior it will not you might forget but it's there you might um not be as intense but it's there those learned behaviors are there and when that stimulus or environment uh triggers those types of emotions or behaviors it will still be there and so the point is bring your awareness to your day-to-day -day activities what are you doing every day what thoughts are you waking up with um how can you break away from that well wake up if you're feeling like oh i don't feel good and i'm so tired that is your opportunity right there to be like nope i decide how i feel i'm not going to wake up with negativity or with grumpiness i'm going to empower myself i'm going to think about all of the um wins i have all of the opportunities that i have it's much easier to get up and get after your day when you are your number one supporter when you feel empowered and when you feel confident in your ability to get those things done so that's what I do when I get up. I don't get up like, whoo! I just, I got the deepest sleep ever. I, um, I'm fully energized. There's almost every day I'm exhausted. You know, I'm not just an athlete. And that's a conversation I had with myself. I'm not just an athlete anymore. When I was just an athlete, 
when training and competing was my entire life, it's not that it was much easier. It's my focus was on that one thing, and there was absolutely no distractions. Like, I, at the time, I had two jobs and was an athlete, and I remember when it came to competing for nationals, and, like, I was in that point, like, I cannot blame my job. I quit both of my jobs for these two seasons and gave it my all. And now running three businesses with Evolve Gear, Evolve Nation, all of these things that are happening, um, I am still taking my training serious. I'm still competitive with myself. I'm still prioritizing the things that I need, but I'm not just an athlete anymore. Um, my mental energy is exerted all the time with work. So that cuts on my reserves for training and I keep that in mind so basically what I'm saying is just because I've been doing this for a really long time does not mean it's easy right I have continuously outgrown myself I've continuously added more onto my plate that pulls from my reserves and so it's not like I'm doing the same workout getting the same seven hours of sleep um, eating the same exact uh, meals per for two to three hours or whatever structure I was on you know I've adapted and have continued to evolve but um, the challenges are there and they're continuously gonna be there and I and I keep going you know I'm not I'm not gonna slow down I'm not gonna keep comparing to what was and what is um, I am seeing the other opportunities that lie ahead for me and you know for me like my biggest priority is impacting the world you know it's no longer just about me versus me which it kind of was when I was in sports that was a phase in my life where it really was about my character building and also being that team player that people could rely on but that still spoke to me being a reliable person the type of person I wanted to be the, the leader I wanted to be and so now those goals are the same I still want to be a great leader I still want to be reliable but I show up every day for myself and Evolve Nation I show up every day not just with my workouts but I do my continuous research I keep reading I keep developing programs I keep connecting with people all over the world to create programs and series that are gonna help everyone under Evolve Nation and so if it's something I don't know I get into it and I learn from experts so for example um, this month February I have a activate your energy align your energy this has to do with your chakras things that I personally never gave up about and it was because I didn't know about it and I just thought that that was another side of the world that really didn't relate to me and so as I keep getting deeper into my growth I'm like oh my gosh like this is amazing I don't feel stupid for not knowing but I feel excited that I'm gonna learn and so I've already been doing this stuff for the past few months and I've connected with an amazing girl Priya who studied this in India and I've actually been learning through her digitally and then I met her here and we've been shooting this content and putting it together for the Evolve members but that's what it is for me it's it's a responsibility for me to continuously learn connect with people actually give it my best and keep providing more resources for evolve nation and helping everyone in any way that i can mind body soul lifestyle i focus heavily on mindset so you know i will always have you guys covered with that um but yeah i'm actually living up to the person i want to be and it's it's not easy success is not easy achieving those goals is not easy but at least if you show up every day and you do your part, you go to bed happy and um, you just wake up every day knowing that you are on this continuous path that is going to keep going left, right, left, right. But along the way, you're learning to enjoy the process because you're actually doing it, right? It's so hard to just do it. And I think people can forget because we're so fixed on, I was supposed to, we're so fixed on the results that we forget that getting up showing up and actually doing it is astonishing and you know Kobe Bryant said this and he said it is not the destination it is the process where you're living the dream because to even have the ability to endeavor such a deep meaningful journey is really the goal in life um, and so for me it's like this isn't easy but it's very meaningful for me so the fact that I get to show up continue to be me not take shortcuts work my ass off every single day that is the dream for me like i've already hit success but the competitiveness of me is like more lives more events more programs more gear and you know what that's fine those are all bonuses but i am living my purpose and i think that when you can find that 
when you can do something that's meaningful and not copy people, not be on original, you will feel your best. Um, and so if you don't know what that is just yet, keep working on yourself. Um, just have that basic awareness again of why am I doing this? Is this for me? Is it for other people? And I promise you, you might even be happier with less if you are you. A lot of people are just following their subconscious desires of, oh, I need this, I need that. Why? Take the moment to think of that and make sure every why has a deep meaning for you and you will create a very abundant and fulfilling life. So that being said, happy Monday. If, if I would get this up by Monday, great. If not, happy Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I hope that you guys gain some insight, gain some not gained, I hope you shifted your perspective and feel really good about where you're going in your direction, where you are, because I, oh, okay, I might have to cut this short, I promise you, life is all about the process, enjoying the journey, so every day show up, keep yourself empowered, affirm yourself, believe in yourself, don't let nobody tell you what your dreams are, what you can, cannot do, that is literally up to you, you define your life. And that's how I live my life. I don't let anybody tell me what I can do. I, I'm i the only one that has that authority. So I hope that you also know that you have that power. That being said, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for joining me on this lovely morning. If you found this helpful, like, comment, subscribe. So I know to keep bringing out these videos for you guys. Genuinely, I do this because of the feedback. And a lot of you have been wanting these mindset talks and vlogs. So if you found it helpful, please comment before and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a beautiful week. Go get it. See you guys next time.